Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling a Zim. I'm inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're pleased to announce Zim Squiggle. Woohoo! So, Squiggle is like a blob, it's got Bezier points, uh, but it is a curve, a squiggly curve. So, let's make a squiggle now. We'll go into some code. Here, we're using Zim 6.6.0. We're in a fit template, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna type in some code. Var squiggle is equal to a new squiggle. There we go, and we will dot center on the stage. And let's take a look. So we view this in a browser. And there's the squiggle, nice, huh? It's got the Bezier curves. There, signature. Yeah, let's curve that one a little nicer. Signature. Woohee! So uh, that's Zim Squiggle. Let's see what else we can do with it. You can specify the color and the number of lines and a variety of other things about it, but you can look that up in the doc. Let's see how it works with the transform manager. So bar tm is equal to a new transform manager. And we'll pass into that the squiggle, like so. And then we can say transform manager dot persist round brackets and give it an ID SQ for squiggle. I'll view this in a browser. Oh, we already had it open in a browser, didn't we? So refresh. Now it didn't save that one, but from now on it will persist. So if if, uh, if we make a new signature, <laughs> how is it that we came to be making signatures? I don't know. So who, who's this a signature for? That's a pretty ugly signature. There. <laughs> For uh, 6v. <laughs> no, I don't know. But then we refresh, and there's our ugly signatures. Is still here. We have a persistently ugly signature. Uh, we, <laughs> there. That's a better one. I like that. I give it a bit of a twist. Uh, woo! Yeah, I like that. All right, we save that and refresh. There we go. So it persists. Um, so much like you know other shapes. So bar circle. Do it. It's equal to a new circle around brackets. Uh, dot add to the stage or the sage. <laughs> Hello there, sage. I would like to add a circle to. Uh, dot position 100, comma 100, for instance. Dot transform. Now um, we're adding transform tools to the circle. And we take that and add it to the array here. And uh, now let's see what happens. Refresh here. Um, now, uh, note that the number of objects had changed, and uh, it, it sort of had lost its, it's forgotten its thing. But anyway, there we go. We've transformed some, and now we're we're back in now. So whoop whoop, and we transform this like so. There, strange looking. Yeah, let's rotate it. There we go. Near, new, near, new, near, new, near, new, near, new, and a refresh. And there we go. Neat, huh? So, uh, much like the other transforms, it, uh, it's like that as well. Oh, by the way, double clicking on that changes the. Um, if I double click, I can change the, the type of point on that, like um, just like the blob. So there we go, and the refresh, and there we are. Uh, double clicking again brings it to sharp corners. So if we wanted to, we could double click through to get to sharp corners for all of these things. And you can specify what uh, corners you want. And now we've got sort of sharp corner uh, line. Double clicking again brings it into this, which is the even one. So those are even. If I double click, these are not even, but they're straight. So this one pulls farther, but it keeps it straight still. And this one uh, is independent, like so, so that you can uh, make stuff like that. <laughs>
Okay. And then the default one for a squiggle, a little bit unlike uh, a blob, or uh, sorry, the default one, the blob it, it default is this one, where they're uneven but straight. That's called straight. But the default for a squiggle you noticed was the purple one, the even, like so. Okay, so that is Zim Squiggle. Very, very exciting. Uh, I think that's a lot of fun, and we we have uh, an app that we're making where we let people play with the squiggle. It's called T-Bugs. We let people play with the squiggle uh, to guide a bug through cups on a table, and then the, the bug follows the cup. Now, there was a request to um, provide that in Zim, the following. Uh, along a squiggle, and that'll probably come up in an upcoming version of Zim, I think. Uh, I'll just play with that a little bit more. <clears throat> uh, great, and that's what's bubbling at Zim, a new squiggle, so come in and check out the docs on squiggle, very much like I said, like a blob, and works along with the transform manager as well in a similar way. Have a great day! Woohoo!